All right, closet grow back. Gonna do a quick uh, do-it-yourself flood and drain table. Uh, since my room's already been set up for it, it's gonna go real quick. So feel free to pause and rewind and do all that good shit. I'm gonna make this fast. I've already got a tub and a tote uh, that's already been set up for this. So like I said, this is gonna real, go real quick, and it goes real quick anyway. This is a simple, simple basic system you know it's simple as simple can get really uh, deep water culture is probably the next most or the most simplest but this is next to the most simplest which is deep water culture so uh, we'll give you the quick rundown here what we've got we've got some ebb and flow ebb and flow fittings kit this was like eight dollars I think it was less than that, but we'll say eight bucks. So it's got an inlet and an outlet. Inlets three eighths, a half inch line rather. Outlets a one inch line. Drains twice as fast as it can fill, so you never can overflow. Um, we've got drain line one inch, three feet long. Fill line half inch. That orange thing is a little adapter for my pump. You may have to use one as well. A lot of pumps come with them. I had to use some tape. Okay, we've got a small pump here. This thing pumps up 18 inches. Really, that's all that's required. Um, your tote is maybe 12 inches tall. If you've got a taller one, you might need a taller pump. Uh, but this is just a pump up high enough to flood this masonry tub. You can see this? I've already got holes drilled in it and scratches all through it. This has been used probably six or seven, maybe eight runs, probably more than that for five years now, so maybe three runs a year. It's probably 15 runs in this baby. So, um, cost of this, six bucks at Home Depot, five ninety-five. This is, got marks on each end, you can't really see them now, but shows you your level line for your how much liters and how much gallons it's got a centimeter scale on the side here um, and an inch scale on the right I think the measurement on this is 27 inches one direction by 18 the other can't really remember I might have a tape right here try to do this hold the camera by myself Okay, so we're looking at basically 20 inches, 19 and a half by, yeah, about 27. So my room's 30 by 28. Well, I call it 30 by 30. So what you're going to do here, can't remember the exact size on that hole saw, but honestly it looks like about a one and a half maybe. Get tape measure right here, let's measure it. Um, inside diameter, it looks like a one and a quarter, maybe one and three eighths. But you'll want to go with whatever size hub you have. This just happens to be the size that I had, and this tub's already set up for it, so we'll go to town. I'm going to set you right over here. I have my camera assistant here hold the camera for me. And, uh, yeah, we'll put this thing together real quick. Oh, my assistant just knocked the camera down. Well, he doesn't have a multifunctional thumb. Thumb, rather. Thumb. Alright, big guy. Don't hit that camera. Okay. What we've got is this. Get this open real quick. Drop that down. We've got a strainer. This is your fill. When the pump is off, it'll also become your drain. Gravity through siphon. That's the rest of your bulkhead. I put my drain in the center. It's also my fill, like I said. This is the overall drain at the end of the shutoff. My assistant here is obviously being a camera hog. 
So that simply slips in, we tighten it down, strainer goes back in, prevents any rocks or substrate from going back in, roots from growing in there too, too badly. Same thing again, it's just a taller one that has spaces on it. This is the fill line. Water fills up, fills through this, keeps continuing filling up until it gets to this line. Gets to this line, it dumps over and through the strainer and down through the drain, the one inch line. Very simple. My assistant thinks I'm here to entertain him. He must be bored. Where the sun must be not out very much. This will be laying in it. Okay, simply slip that through after you've drilled your holes, of course. You can put your fill in your drain lines wherever you want. I wanted my, my fill in my drain, my overall drain, to be right in the center. I figured water would collect towards the center. Um, that's about three inches worth of water depth, almost, in my flood pan. Make sure that your strainer is not too high for your flood pan. If it's too high for your flood pan, it can flow before it starts draining. And my assistant just knocked my camera back over. So nice of him. So, get out of here. Come on, get. Nope, I'm not I'm done playing. Come on, get, get. Okay, come back. Helps when you turn the camera back the right way. Uh, I was looking at uh, the wrong side of the camera and pointing it in the wrong direction. So definitely a medicated moment. All right. So now that that is tight, we have our fill, our top fill drain. Water can no go higher. Can go no higher than here falls back in and when the pump shuts off siphon and gravity siphons back through here stops draining through here and it ultimately drains to the low point in the tub right here so that's it folks right there boom bulkheads eight box tub 595 at Home Depot this is a small one they make a bigger one they make an even bigger one than this if you need it folks This is what I got in my flower room, this big boy right here. This is over three feet long, and it's exactly two feet wide. So, yeah, they make, it, they make even bigger ones. That one, the price on that one is, I believe, $12. So, boom, grab this. We'll put you over here in this room. As I said, I already have drain holes. Whew, temps in here are getting warm. So. Reason I have multiple holes, the holes there is because this tub used to be offset to one side and I didn't really like the wasted space not being able to center my plants. So, boom, moved it over. Now I have even space on both sides. And there it is. Boom, done. So this is like thirteen dollars and, and maybe maybe fourteen dollars. Call it fifteen dollars. Say fifteen bucks. This small pump is under ten. Maybe five dollars. Wasn't very much. It's only like 160 gallon per hour. It's just a little jobby. So that's going to go down below. Here's your reservoir. You know, if you don't have a room like mine that's divided off, like I said, this room's evolved over the years. So, but you could do a table down underneath. Boom. Come up here. Pump's going to ultimately go down in here as well.
You got your drain line, fill line. Okay, I'm trying to do this with uh, holding onto the camera by myself. All right, here's your drain. Simple. Slides right on. Take a zip tie, tighten it down. There's your fill, and when your pump's off, that actually becomes your drain as well. All right, so boom. Boom, those two are in, down through the holes, pick it up a little bit, slack goes down through. Okay, then we come in down below. Drain hose goes in, fill hose goes in. As you can see, you can see the bulkheads coming through. Down to the drain. Or down to the reservoir rather and then we hook our pump back into the hole and there you have it folks there's your reservoir there's your drain you can cut your drain hose back that's a little long I would probably cut it back and I cut it at an angle too folks so it can't push directly against the wall if it's cut at an angle the most it can ever do is touch it, touch the touch the wall at an angle, and you can always drain. So there's always there's no chance for this thing to ever plug up and you know overflow on you. No, that was just my thermostat that fell beside me. So that's pretty much that. And if you have a reservoir cover, you can cut a hole in the lid, and you can you know do what you need to do. But this is doubling as a tutorial, and I'm um, actually setting my room up at the same time, so this works out pretty darn good in my opinion so boom there's that this is all for under 25 bucks tub tub and fittings we said was 15 we have the reservoir and the pump and the hoses I'd say no more than five dollars for the hoses like I said I think the pump was like five or six bucks so call that 10 and a reservoir that thing's like three dollars for that. It's Thirteen bucks, and you got under ten, uh, fifteen dollars right there. So what's that? Twenty-eight, twenty-eight dollars. This bag of rocks, substrate, cost me twenty-three dollars for fifty liters. It's really big. Excellent aeration. A lot of surface area. A lot, of, a lot, plenty of room for hydro in hydro for air to get trapped. The roots love it. So, essentially, take your rocks and your substrate, and you'll fill that baby right up. And you can see on the lines on the sides where I fill this thing up to. I fill it up to usually the top of this strainer, just so it's submerged a little bit. Just a few rocks on top of it. The depth and usually it's good to go. These rocks work really well. I like them better than the hydrotten. They don't float. You can use less of them to hold your plants down. And I fill this thing up and then I put my plants right in. Now you could take and if you wanted to use neti pots and put stone in neti pots. You could put stone in neti pots and put your clones right in those neti pots and you could put neti pots right in here. You know? You might be able to squeeze, yeah, so you could squeeze three right there. You know, if you really wanted to do this, you could probably do it in a way where these hubs weren't in your way. And, you know, you could, you know, lay this out, and this might be able to hold, hell, you could probably hold 12, easily, I would think, 12 of those neti pots in there. If you wanted to do 12 small plants, if you're legally allowed to. I am not. I can only do six in flower, so I don't do that many. I just do two small, or you know, larger plants rather, less of them. But for this room, it's just basically two small plants, so that's the gist of that. Um, hope you guys found this somewhat informative. Um, I will show another quick shot of the the tote when it's done, uh, full of that's some perlite, um, full of. Uh, rocks and the plants in there and the pump working and you just hook your pump to a timer and it's pretty simple
is a 10 gallon res, I recommend using something a little bigger, maybe 15 to 20 gallons, so that way you can put at least 10 gallons in there, 10 to 12, maybe even 15 gallons of water, uh, a reservoir nutrient solution, because it's... Uh, it just adds more buffers in there, and it gives you more buffer range, less less fluctuation, um, which is always better for your plants. So, anyways, this is closet grow for now. That was a little do-it-yourself. Tried to get as much information in there as possible. Any questions? Uh, you know, subscribe, uh, like the video. Um, at this point. Um, I don't know if I'll do another one of these, but uh, it's the first one I've ever done, and I'm uh, just trying to help out the community since so many people have helped me, I'm trying to give back, a high grow hybrid, uh, Farmer John 420, uh, Grow Greener Guru, all those guys have really great information on all their sites. Anybody that was looking for way better information than what I can offer, go to their site, look them up, sub to them. They got, they're just, you know kind of the gods of growing in the growing community as far as YouTube is concerned um, and I, I just got a lot of information I'm fairly new to YouTube and um, don't really have I don't think I have any subscribers at this point I'm just trying to do my best I'm from New England up in Maine um, got my medical card uh, my shoulders all screwed up um, just doing what I can to to get by and try to make ends meet at this point with my shoulder injury and um, this is why I, I medicate is for my shoulder I, I have a hard time sleeping at night because there's so much ligament and muscle damage in that shoulder that I don't have the money to uh, pay for surgery, don't have insurance um, so a lot of things that I don't have that uh, cannabis uh, takes care of for me and um, you know, I don't have to medicate through synthetics and all that crap, which makes me sick and uh, you know, gives me anxiety and um, just so many other things that you already already probably already know about. So, anyways, uh, this is just uh, this is the flower room for now. Uh, I got to get a small fan in there, move it some air around, and uh, uh, that's pretty much it. Um, any questions? Like I said, feel free to ask. Closet grower, it's good for now. We'll be back once we get them planted. Peace.